Happy Monday, boys and girls, and welcome back to Art Class with Mrs. Ham. I worked on about five projects over the weekend, and I'm super excited about for the week. Sometimes I just come up with goofy ideas of things I want to do in art, and this week, won't disappoint in that department. We're going to do some food art. We're going to kick off today with a super fun project that's going to work with another project tomorrow. So the things you make today will apply for tomorrow too. It'll be fun. You'll have have some really cool stuff. Let's get going. Grab a pencil and today if you have more than one sheet of paper that'd be good. Okay friends hopefully you went and grabbed your paper and you're ready for a really cool project. This is one of my favorite little art projects I've found. I'm not the original creator of it, but I'm certainly thankful for the person who came up with the idea because it offers endless possibilities, okay? And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you some other ideas also while we're doing this. But you're going to need um, a piece of paper and you're, you're going to need to lay it down um, tall ways. Sometimes you hear your teacher say like a hamburger, okay? Not. Not like this, not side to side, but up, up and down tall ways. And then I want you to take the top and fold it over all the way to the edge very carefully, make it meet up. So in order for this project, the Big Mouth Project to work out correctly, you do need to fold it as evenly as possible, <clears throat> okay? Now you might get a parent or somebody to help you with that if that's frustrating to you. All right, and so you're gonna leave it with the open part down. I want you to grab the top, and then I want you to fold the top part back and touch the top, okay? So we have a new fold like this. It should be open. I made this mistake earlier. I was practicing and did it wrong. It will not work unless this part is open like this, okay? All right, and then I want you to pick it up and I want you to make this part fold. It really doesn't matter which way you fold it on the bottom piece. You're just really trying to get a line there. Okay, and then you're gonna open it back up, open that piece back up, and it's gonna look like this. I bet you can already see the mouth part forming, okay? So once you have it like this, then we are ready to draw. All right, so here comes the fun part. Um, go ahead and grab your pencil. Now, depending on if you wanna make a girl or a boy, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the boy because I know I have lots of guys out there watching too. And the girl you'll see, I love to give her big exaggerated lips, but maybe my boys don't want that. And so you could make a flatter lip. I am going to draw the girl today, but I think you'll be able to switch these pieces out pretty easily. I mean, it's really the primary difference, okay? Uh, all right, I was gonna show you the dog, but I'll wait just a little bit. All right, so you wanna be working on this fold right here in the middle of it. And you wanna form a letter M. So the bigger you go, the bigger the lips are, you know, kind of the funnier it is. All right, and then keep drawing. We're gonna come down on the bottom of that fold and make a rainbow line. Now, my kids at Justice, they, I teach them about drawing lips all the time because we, we make a lot of self-portraits. So I know you guys are gonna be very good at this. All right, and just go ahead and creep up above there and let's just make a tiny little nose a little rainbow line. And then let's go ahead and give it the eyes. So we have two ovals. Again, if you're a justice kid, you know how to make faces very well because we do it quite often. All right, and then put a circle in the middle. And then I like to go ahead and give eyebrows and some eyelashes. Now, another option that you have right here uh, what I did on the boys was a pair of glasses. So if you wear glasses, you certainly could have glasses. Uh, you could make sunglasses. I thought big heart sunglasses would be fun too. All right, so at the beginning of the drawing. Now, 
you have an option here. You can make this be the top of the head or I'm gonna do mine a little differently this time. Kinda of as if you're not gonna see all of the head. It's just up to you. <clears throat> and I'm gonna come down and around to make the face down to a neck. And then on the other side, down and around like a big C shape and a neck. All right. So girls, this is where, you know, you could really have fun with the, the hair, whatever kind of hair you want. Boys, I know you probably don't have a lot of hair to, to work with on these. Another option on this though, is if you don't want to make a person, you can make big mouth animals. And that, <laughs> the variety on that is endless. You could make a great big bear. You could make a cat. <clears throat> I'll show you, I'll go ahead. This is what I was gonna show you while I go. Make a dog. And I'm sorry, that is pretzel barking. Don't know what scared him. Maybe a cat on the back porch. All right. So you can make a dog, any kind of animal. Gosh, this is just such a great project for imagination. Okay, so once you've got this drawn top to bottom like this, then you're gonna go ahead and pull this open. And you see that you've got this big center point part that it's blank. I want you to start on the left side of the lips and connect down to the bottom lip with two straight lines, left and right. Okay, so we form the mouth. Let's go ahead and connect the face. One, straight, pull straight down. And you're starting to see this become really funny. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect my hairlines that I made. <clears throat> I don't know, I sort of lost one here along the way, so I'll add it, oh, there it was back there. Might need to add some if you didn't connect them right like I didn't. I like to get my long hair so I can really have a good place to color. All right, now go ahead and get on the top lift and it's great because there you have that fold line that's gonna help you just go make a straight line across that fold line on the top and the bottom and you've completed your lips. Oh, I forgot to add some little bottom eyelashes, I see. Go ahead and do that. Then the top row, we're gonna go over in a rectangle, and guess what? This is gonna be teeth. I'll just sort of make these kind of teeth. This is another place where you could do some pretty funny stuff like vampire teeth or shark teeth. Um, you could definitely change this up and make it even kind of crazier than this. All right, I like to go ahead and put in the tongue. All right, and so now that's it. It's complete, and watch, she can eat. I'm gonna pull mine back down here. Let's talk about coloring, because I think, you know, to make it really funny is to make sure that you color your tongue and color the back part of the mouth um, black like that, <clears throat> so it'll really look like a mouth, all right? Now, I don't wanna finish yet. I ask you to get a couple of pieces of paper because I wanna show you what I had fun doing all weekend and that was creating food for my big mouth to eat. So, here she's got a donut, some broccoli. Can she eat all of this at one time? Some pizza. So what I want you to do is take your other piece of paper to draw food. I'm gonna pick out two or three, four things for you to show you how to draw, but you'll get the hang of it and you will draw many, many foods or funny things for her to eat. All right, so we'll move her to the side. So if you've got another piece of paper or something that you're drawing on, go ahead and get it and get your pencil again. I'll go up and down again so you can see good. All right, so let's start with the watermelon. The watermelon's super easy. It's an upside down V, and then a little rainbow line. Come down and repeat that contour line, just like that. And then I like to put in a thin line, because I like to color this dark green, light green, and then red, and then teardrop seeds all over. 
and you have a watermelon. I happen to think the broccoli's pretty funny, so let me show you how I did that. I just formed it like some, like you were making puffy trees, little cloud shapes, and then I come down like letter Y. Okay, fat letter Y. I'm gonna close this part, then I'm gonna come back up. I'm starting to make these V's and Y's. And down, you know, broccoli looks like little baby trees. Sometimes people call them that, little baby trees. So there's broccoli, All right? How about a hot dog? A hot dog's really easy if you just start with an oval. Kind of, I call that a square oval. And then here's your wiener. And you're gonna come back and show a little bit of the back part of the bread and then make a wiggle line. That can be your mustard or your ketchup, whatever you like to put on your hot dog. All right, and finally, how about <clears throat> I show you the donut shape. So just super easy, make a wobbly circle. Does not have to be a perfect circle. Circle in the middle. And then the fun part of this is creating the icing. So just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Don't forget the sprinkles. And donuts are fun because you can make so many different flavors and kinds. I actually thought about just doing a whole art project on donuts because they're just super fun. But anyway, you guys keep going. I have a banana. I thought the fish was pretty funny. An egg, apple. Let me see what you think is funny on this today. I hope you had a great time learning the Big Mouth Project, and I'm super anxious to see what you come up with for this. Um, so post to me, send it to me, email it to me, whatever you can do, because uh, I want to see your work. All right, happy Monday, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And remember, I said tomorrow's project will connect with this one, and I think it's pretty funny, too. This week's art projects are pretty entertaining. All right, you guys have a good week. And I'll